Hello friends, it is I, Rudy, bringing you another video and it is time for the biggest event of the summer and that is WWE Summer Slam and this year, this year seems like it's going to be a really, really fun premium live event or pay-per-view, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it and I'm here to predict what's going to happen at Summer Slam or at least I'm going to try, I'm going to try my very, very best so let's get this started. First up, we have the SummerSlam Battle Royal presented by Slim Jim. And I'm like 99.99999% sure that this, this was put into SummerSlam just to give LA Knight, yeah, a win. I'm pretty sure that's what it's here for. Either if, if Alan Knight doesn't win this Battle Royale, then someone, someone that's coming back from a hiatus should win. But I'm pretty sure, I'm like, like I said, 99.999999% sure that LA Knight, yeah, will win the SummerSlam Battle Royale. Presented by Slim Jim. Slim Jim. So, that's what I'm predicting. LA Knight wins the Battle Royale. Next, we have Ronda Rousey versus Shayna. Baszler in an MMA rules match. Don't know what that means. Don't know what an MMA rules match means, at least not in WWE. I don't know what that means. Are they gonna go rounds? Are they gonna just pin like submissions and and make a, or your opponent tap out or knock them out? I don't know, I don't know. But apparently, Ronda Rousey is gonna leave WWE pretty soon, pretty soon. Maybe even after SummerSlam and maybe even after this match. So, will she go out as, a cha as like a winner, or will she go out and give Shayna Baszler the win before she goes on and do something else? I'm hoping, I'm hoping, because I, I know Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are good friends. I'm hoping that Ronda gives Shayna the win. And will this be fun? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be interesting. If it's going to be interesting, it really depends on whatever the MMA rules means. If they just beat each other up for like 10 minutes, that'd be really pretty cool. That'd be pretty freaking cool. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Shayna Baszler beats Ronda Rousey and like she starts going on a tear and starts beating everyone. That's what I kind of want. So I'm predicting that Shayna Baszler beats Ronda Rousey. Next, we have Logan Paul versus Ricochet. And this is another match. This is another match that was kind of put into place to give Logan Paul the win. Like I'm 99.9999% I'm sure that this is why this match is happening at SummerSlam. Logan Paul since coming into WWE, I don't think he's won a single match. I think he has three, four, or five matches and he's lost every single one. No offense to Ricochet, he's pretty cool. He does a bunch of cool stuff and he should be some kind of like United States Champion or International Intercontinental Champion, something. He should get something. But, I don't think he's going to win. I don't think he's going to win. Like, between the two, Logan Paul needs to win more. Because, he's like I said, he's been losing every single time he comes in and wrestles. He loses. And Ricochet, he's gotten wins here and there. But, he could afford to lose because he always loses too. But, I think Logan Paul needs to win more. And, I'm pretty sure this is why this match was made. So, I'm predicting Logan Paul beats Ricochet. Next, we have the Intercontinental Championship match. The champion, Gunther versus Drew McIntyre. And I know a lot of people like Drew McIntyre, but I don't know. There's something about him that I don't like. I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe because he's a good guy. I feel like he would do a lot better if he was a heel. And that's why, that's, that's why I don't know. There's something about him I don't like as a good guy champion or whatever. But Gunther, Gunther has been doing really, really well. Like, he's been having match and match and match and match. And all of them have been good. All of them have been really, really good. And I kind of want him to go on and beat the Hawking Tonk man, uh, inter intercontinental champion record. I think he has maybe 50 more days he has to hold the title to or something like that. I kind of want Gunther to do that because Gunther, Gunther is actually pretty darn good. And like, more people should appreciate him. I know he has good matches every single week, basically. 
but I think more people should appreciate Gunther. And I don't want Drew to win. I don't want Drew to win. I don't know why. I don't want him to win. So, I'm predicting that Gunther beats Drew McIntyre and retains the Intercontinental Championship. Next, we have the Triple Threat Women's Match for the, what is it, WWE Women's Championship. The champion, Asuka versus Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair. And it kind of sucks for Asuka because she's been like the third wheel in this. Like Bianca Belair and Charlotte, Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair have been like the two things that are, are in front and center. And Asuka's just like an afterthought. It's, it sucks because Asuka's Asuka. Asuka's pretty good. She wrestles really, really good. And she's, she deserves better. She deserves better. Like the story is not surrounding her and her championship. The match, the match though, should be pretty fun. It should be pretty fun because Bianca Belair is pretty good. Asuka is pretty good. And even though I don't like Charlotte Flair as much, she's actually pretty good as, in wrestling as well. Well, when she wants to wrestle, when she really wants to. But who will win? That is a question because I, I, think, I think Asuka needs to win the most. Bianca Belair, she's been trying to change her character up a bit at least that's what it seems like it seems as uh, she's trying to change up her character and i think it's needed i think it's needed charlotte flair she's like in between a good guy and a bad guy it doesn't work it doesn't work she needs to be a straight up bad guy and that will work and asuka asuka i think deserves to win but i don't know i don't know i'm gonna predict that asuka wins but we might have a cash in from EO Sky because she's been teasing it. She's been teasing it. But I don't think she's gonna fully cash in. I think she might go for it. And I think Bailey stops her. Something happens. Something happens. But I don't see EO Sky leaving SummerSlam with a championship. I want her to. Maybe not, maybe not SummerSlam, but maybe somewhere else. I want EO Sky to get this championship soon. But I pretend thing Asuka with the triple triple threat match retains her title and there's some kind of cash in or fake cash in with EO Sky. We'll see. Next we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. The champion Seth freaking Rollins versus Finn Balor. Oh I don't know. This one I don't know. Like both both guys are pretty freaking good and I think Seth just got the championship not that long ago, but like he could lose it. He could afford to lose it. Finn Balor, he makes a lot of good points on why he wants the championship and why he needs the championship, which is also why he should probably win. But I, I don't know. I don't know. This, probably, this is probably the match that's probably the most difficult to decide because it could go either way. It could really go either way. But I think story-wise, story-wise, I think Finn Balor needs to win i think finn balor needs to win but we might have a cash in or attempt to cash in from damian priest which would be freaking crazy like with a judgment day like with a judgment day let them have let it happen would they like stay friends or like what, what's gonna happen i don't know i don't know but i kind of want finn balor to win so i'm saying finn balor beats seth Freaking Rollins and becomes the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship champion. And maybe, just maybe, Damian Priest catches in. Next, we have Cody Rose versus Brock Lesnar. And Cody has to win, right? Cody has to win. I believe Cody has to win because Brock Lesnar is just Brock. And then Cody, if he beats Brock, Brock Lesnar, it, it, it's another chapter in his story. It's another chapter in his story that will probably eventually hopefully lead to him winning the Universal or Undisputed Universal Championship. So that's what I mean just quick and easy. That one's quick and easy. Cody should win. So I'm predicting Cody Rhodes beats Brock Lesnar. And last but not least, we have the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. The champion Roman Reigns versus J. Uso in a trial combat match. And I think the trial by combat match means basically no, no rules, no disqualification. I think that's what it means, but we'll see. This one, it's sad to say it. I I, I don't I don't I still don't see Jay Uso beating Roman Reigns. I don't see it happening. Roman Reigns is still on another level than Jay. 
Jay, Jay has done well to become main event, Jay Uso, but I just don't see him. I don't see him as a champion. Not yet. Not yet at least. Not beating Roman, I should say. Not beating Roman. He could beat someone else, but I don't see him beating Roman Reigns. So, I'm just going to predict that Roman Reigns beats Jay Uso and retains the championship title. And I feel like a lot of stuff, crazy stuff might happen. I don't know who, who's going to appear, but I think someone from the Roman Reigns family is going to appear from the bloodline. Either Rikishi or, his, or Roman Reigns' parents. I don't know. Someone's going to come out. Maybe The Rock? I doubt it's The Rock, but who knows. But Roman Reigns beats Jay Uso. And that's it, guys. That's all the matches on the card. It seems like it's going to be fun. It seems like it's going to be exciting. But we'll see. I'm predicting... If, if, if I get three of my predictions right, if I get three of my predictions right, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. But that's it for me, guys. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.